Hello, my favorite student, and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel, English with Speaker. My name is Tanya, and today we are going to have a reading lesson. Yes, we are going to develop our reading skills, but we are going to do that with Taylor Swift. Are there any Swifties? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> So we are going to read an article from the US magazine or maybe US magazine. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it because I honestly don't know. It was the first time I saw this magazine. We're going to develop our reading skills, learn some new vocabulary and see how these patterns work in other sentences. We will make more examples. Of course, this whole lesson is going to be in the PDF worksheet that is free of charge. There is going to be all the information and even exercises to practice the vocabulary and develop reading skills. So all you need to do is go to the description box, click on the link and get your free PDF worksheet. Let's bring your English to the next level. So I am going to read the article part by part and in each part we are going to look at some pieces of vocabulary, talk about them and I will give you more examples. All Tony Roma wanted for Christmas was to see Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift get married. At least it seems that way after he called Swift Kelsey's wife again. Romo, 43, was working as a commentator for CBS during the Kansas City Chiefs versus Las Vegas Raiders game on Monday, December 25th, when he misspoke. While discussing Kelsey's 900th career reception, the camera cut to Swift, 33, who was cheering and ringing a bell in the suite at Arrowhead Stadium. And his wife loves it. I mean, girlfriend. Romo said, quickly correcting himself. The first thing that we are going to look at is all Tony Romo wanted for Christmas was. Oh, I'm so sure you've heard this phrase in all I want for Christmas is you. But, but I'd like to look at it more because you can easily use this phrase in any other parts of your life. First of all, change Christmas for any other holiday. All I want for my birthday is. All he wants for Halloween is. You can simply change the pronouns depending who you are talking about. All I want, all he wants. Then after is, you can put a noun or a to infinitive. For example, all I want for my birthday is a puppy. All he wants for Halloween is to stay in and binge watch his favorite series. All they want for their wedding is to eat a cake. <laughs> All I want for you is to succeed in learning English. Next one is misspoke. Misspoke. Misspoke is the second form or the past simple form of misspeak. Misspeak. Misspeak means to say something that is not correct by mistake. You don't want it. You do it by mistake. <laughs> Next piece that is very interesting is the camera cuts to swift. The camera cuts to swift. Cuts to. In which cuts to means to jump from one moment to another. It means the camera was filming one scene and then suddenly moved to Taylor Swift and completely changed the scenery yeah, because Taylor Swift was not playing, she was cheering. So, so they show a different moment in a very fast and sudden way. And the word sweet sweet it is particularly interesting because of the pronunciation sweet i bet you want to say it differently but it is sweet <laughs> and here a sweet is a place where taylor swift is with her family i guess 
we will move on to that part soon. So a suite is a set of rooms, usually at a hotel or at some place. Let's move on to the next one. Fellow commentator Jim Nance chuckled and quipped, You've been down that road with that before. When Swift attended the December 10th game against the Buffalo Bills, Romo made the same flub. As you see, Kelsey's wife, Taylor Swift, in the audience, he told viewers. The former Dallas Cowboys quarterback quickly laughed off his mistake, adding, I'm sorry, girlfriend. Not yet, Nats added. A few moments later, Nats joked, you don't know something we don't know, do you? <laughs> so we will start with the word fellow. Fellow. Fellow is an adjective and it refers to someone who has the same job as you or the same interest as you or in the same situation as you. For example, a fellow student or a fellow traveler, a fellow player, a fellow soldier. Now, chuckled and quipped chuckled and quipped so we see two past forms the infinitives are chuckle chuckle it means to laugh quietly like <laughs> laugh quietly and quip 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 means to make a clever remark to say something clever, humorous, something like that. Now, you've been down that road before. You've been down that road before. This is a set phrase, and it is used to say that someone has already had the same experience, that they have done this thing before. Imagine your friend starts dating the same person again and you say are you sure you've been down that road before make sure to remember the whole expression as is because a slight change in the article or preposition or tense and it doesn't mean that anymore now make a flub make a flub a flub is an embarrassing mistake but flub is mostly used as a verb in the meaning to make an embarrassing mistake as in he flubbed again by calling Taylor Swift his wife next word is audience audience and I'm sure that the meaning is clear it is a group of people at one place watching something but I want to focus on pronunciation it's o, long o, audience, audience, and the stress is on the first syllable, audience. Number 10, this is already the 10th expression that we are interested in, laugh off his mistake, laugh off his mistake. Laugh off means to make yourself laugh about something unpleasant in order for it to seem less important or serious. For example, Billy tried to laugh off what they said about his new haircut, but I knew he was hurt. Also, the pronunciation, laugh, laugh, off, laugh off, laugh off. And the last one in this part is, you don't know something we don't know do you here we are mostly interested in the tag question do you and its intonation if we are not confident in what we have just said our intonation in the tag question will go up listen to me you don't know something we don't know do you you go up do you that means that you're not confident in that. But if we are confident in what we are saying and we know that the listener will confirm it, the intonation goes down. Listen, 
You don't know something we don't know, do you? Now let's compare. We don't know something we don't know, do you? We don't know something we don't know, do you? You see, the first, when you go up, you are not confident. When you go down, you're confident and you're waiting for the confirmation. Let's move on. While Taylor wasn't in a full Santa suit like her brother, she looked festive in a red table knit sweater and a Santa hat with Travis's jersey number 87 embroidered on it. Brittany Mahomes, wife of quarterback Patrick Mahomes, was spotted watching the game alongside Taylor in a similar one with the number 15 on it to represent her husband. Now let's focus on cheer on. Cheer on. Cheer on means to shout loudly in order to support someone. And we are interested in a preposition, cheer on. Keep it in your mind. Ultimately. Ultimately. This means finally, after a series of events. Now, tight end. If you are not interested in uh, football, in American football, then you would probably not use it. But in order to understand what is tight end, that is a certain position in an American football. And here it refers to Taylor Swift's boyfriend because this is his position in an American football. He is a tight end. <laughs> Festive. Festive is an adjective and it means having or producing happy emotions, enjoyable feelings, uh, you know, like during Christmas time and not during birthday um, and any other holiday, yeah, on any other special occasion. The next one is embroider, embroider. So if you like doing something with your hands, then this word is definitely for you because embroider means to decorate cloth or clothes with different patterns. These patterns or even pictures consist of stitches directly sewn on to the material. When I was a child, I used to embroider because this was actually a part of our school routine. We would all embroider, all the girls would embroider. Next one and was spotted was spotted and that means was seen was noticed for example my teacher spotted him cheating during the test and the last word that we're interested in here is alongside alongside that means next to or together with beside let's continue Brittany's husband gushed over Taylor days before the game. She's top tier at her profession. And to see how she drives and she becomes that, dude, it's really cool to hear about and to see. Patrick, 28, said during an interview with CBS Mornings on Friday, December 22nd, while discussing Taylor's relationships with Travis and Brittany. Now I have a first-hand look at that through Brittany and Travis's eyes. Travis and Taylor only got together over the summer, but they've had plenty of really deep conversations about their future together. A source exclusively told US or us weekly ahead of the holidays. The first thing that we are interested in is a phrasal verb, gush over gush over it means to express admiration praise so next on end she's top tier at her profession that means to be the most important people in the group or the company or even the industry next one and have a first hand look at have a first hand look at we are interested in First hand, it's an adjective, and it means to experience something yourself. Now look at through Brittany and Travis's eyes. 
through Brittany and Travis's eyes. It means that you look at something from somebody else's perspective. You look at something from somebody else's point of view. So you can put Brittany and Travis away and put someone else there. For example, through my mom's eyes, through my dad's eyes, through my friend's eyes, through my teacher's eyes. And the last one in here is get together. Phrasal verb, get together. And it means to start a romantic relationship. Like here, they got together over the summer. All right, this is the last one. When they can't physically be together, they are constantly texting, calling and FaceTiming, the insider added. Taylor's relationship with Travis is like nothing she's ever experienced before. They got serious fairly quickly and she was proud to show off their relationship from the jump. Even the loved ones can see this romance is different. Taylor and Travis make each other so happy, so their families and friends are very supportive of their relationship and of them spending as much time together as possible, the source shared. So the first one is like nothing she's ever experienced before. Like nothing she's ever experienced before. It means something on a different level or something different she had experience at. For example, skiing in the Alps is like nothing I've ever experienced before. Okay, then we go on to show off their relationship from the jump. Show off their relationship from the jump. And it means to behave in a way that is intended to attract uh, attention, admiration, um, and for other people, it might be even annoying, but who's going to judge? They do whatever they want to do. <laughs> so also from the jump means from the beginning. Yeah, so from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And moving on to the next one, that is fairly, fairly. We can see it in they got serious fairly quickly. So like, one step back. They got serious fairly quickly. Fairly. Fairly means more than average, but less than very. So it's like average, fairly, very. Loved ones. Loved ones. Loved ones are people that you love and they are usually your family. And the last one is be very supportive of. We can see it in friends, Ah, their families and friends are very supportive of their relationship. Are very supportive of their relationship. That means that they show the agreement and they encourage them to do so. So be very supportive of means to show an agreement and encourage people. All right. So in this lesson, we learned 27 expressions, phrases, phrasal verbs, idioms, simply words, and we developed our reading skills a bit. But if you want to practice more, go to the description box, click on the link and get your free of charge PDF worksheet. There are more exercises to practice. I will put the same article there with all these vocabulary and also more things to talk about to develop your reading skills more and to practice this these phrases and these idioms that would be great and that's it for me for today thank you for being here with me today i'll see you in my next one bye